There used to be four bank branches in the village of Pangbourne near Reading. Like many communities, its banks were an integral part of the high street. But in 2016, the area lost its last remaining branch. Despite the protests of many, like local resident Ian Crimp, Pangbourne has now been without a bank for two years. We had four branches in Pangbourne. That was HSBC, uh, NatWest, Barclays and Lloyds. Uh, my father opened Lloyds Bank Pangbourne in 1920. Uh, he came from Bromley to Pangbourne. Lloyds always claimed they would never close the last branch in the village. I mean, I did, I did take up arms against Lloyds Bank, I have to say, <laughs> and um, they got so fed up with me, eventually they, they refused to re reply to any more of my letters. Our research shows that banks are closing across the UK at a rapid rate of 60 per month, leaving many communities without a local branch. One in five people now live more than three kilometres away from their nearest bank and those with mobility difficulties or without access to the internet are being hit the hardest. It's really affected people that don't have a, a computer facility or have no means of going online to do their banking. The bus service will take you to Tilehurst, which is the name of where the branch is, but the bus stop is at least one mile from the branch and it's an uphill walk uh, to the branch. And the other alternative is the railway station, which is more, more or less the same position as the, the bus stop. We've got ATMs, that was another reason they said, all oh, you've got your ATMs in Pangbourne, so you won't have a problem with money. But nine times out of ten at a weekend, they've run out of money. Um, I personally have to use the post office if I want to get cash out. Post offices are set to fill the gap left by bank closures, as they should all allow you to pay in and withdraw cash and check your balance. Yet many, like this one in Pangbourne, are inside shops, and one third of people told us that they don't think post offices are private enough to deal with finances. Not to mention that many services can only be completed inside a bank branch, and with the added footfall from local residents and businesses, it's likely to mean longer queues. It has affected the businesses in Pangbourne, not just the individual personal banking. It's affected the, 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 the shops, because although Pangbourne's only got a population of roughly two and a half thousand, it draws in people from the villages all around, and there are many of those who used to come in to use the bank. They, they go into Reading to do their banking or whatever, they go and buy things in Reading instead of Pangbourne. If your local branch is closed, your bank is required to signpost alternative options in your area. Some banks now use vans to visit local communities, while others have staff in community buildings to help with customers' banking needs. If you're unhappy with what your bank is offering, it might be worth moving your money to another bank or a smaller building society or local credit union. For more details and our full investigation, head to our website.